dare you threaten me this way? I'll do more than threaten. Doctor, keep your mouth shut. You'll never practice medicine again. I don't have to say anything. Miguel already knows that you're in perfect health. He knows that you are lying in order to get Kay to marry you. I'll take care of Miguel. As for you, do you remember doctor patient confidentiality or be ruined? You're my doctor, Eve. You can't just go around telling people it's in my personal medical files. I won't tell a soul. But you should. That's not going to happen. Julia? Did you know about this? Fox, your guests are arriving. You have serious damage control to perform. If you want this wedding to come off, I suggest you find Miguel and you stop him from telling Kay what he knows about your fatal illness. On my way, Father. Oh, Julian, how could you? Come with me, my dear. Oh, why am I even surprised that you could be part of this hideous plot? Your son is lying to Kay to get her to marry him. We'll be more comfortable elsewhere. Oh. It was lucky we came in the back way. All the guests are arriving up front. Yeah, the bride shouldn't be seen on her wedding day until she walks down the aisle. What if Fox is seen you? Yeah, well, I think we're too late for that because we were together till midnight last night, so. But you're right. No, I don't want to jinx my wedding any more than I already have, so. Well, good. You know, speaking of guests, Jessica, is Spike coming today? Of course, it's his sister-in-law's wedding. Um, oh, he's here already. I saw him outside. Uh, don't worry. I know you all hate Spike, but he is my husband. He'll behave, and so will I. I'll stay stone cold sober. There won't be another scene like the one at your shower. Where is Spike? Um, I don't know. He probably went to get a drink or something. He's around here somewhere. Charlie. Karen will not be attending the wedding tonight. Instead, she will be resting in her room. Poor girl. Yeah. Well, after everything that's happened, I want to make sure that she feels completely safe in her room. Understandably, she is terrified about being attacked again. Not to worry, Luis. Young Mr. Crane made sure we have extra security on board for his big day. No one's getting inside this house that isn't on the guest list. Good. So maybe now I can finally relax. You are perfectly safe. So just go to sleep. Hello? Ethan, are you there? This is wedding ring. Did she give this back to you? Ethan? Gwen, listen, um, I can't talk right now, okay? I'll, I'll see you later. What? No, e Ethan... Ethan, you gotta say something to me, please. Did you and Gwen break up? I need to know it's really important. Ethan, please say... Th oh my God, he hung up with me. Great, and he's with Teresa. How could I have been so stupid to give my wedding ring back to him? That little tramp is gonna take advantage of my stupidity and try to get him back. Answer me, please. Did you and Gwen break up? Is that why you have her wedding we, ring? We had a fight. Okay. You had a fight and she gives you back her ring? All right, all right. We're having real problems, okay? What kind of problems? Teresa problems. Well, what did I do, Ethan? You, you didn't... We were asleep, Teresa, and I apparently had a dream. I dreamed that I was making love to you. And I guess I called uh, your name out while I was asleep. 
Gwen was furious. She told me she was sick and tired of playing second fiddle to you, and she took her ring off and she threw it at me. You know what? You and Gwen have always had problems, and even if I were totally out of the picture, you would be really smart to divorce her. Teresa, I am not here to discuss my, my, my marriage status with you. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? If your marriage isn't over, then what are you doing here? I'm here to talk to you about you and Jared. Again? Yes, again. Teresa. No, no, Ethan, no. Okay, my relationship with him is none of your business. Teresa, you cannot marry this guy. You know what? I can do whatever I want without your input. This is, what, what is it with you? Uh, over and over the same refrain. You know what? You're wrong about him, okay? Jared is a good man. He's not a good man. He's a fraud. He probably killed J.T. Cornell. Take this ring, and you give it back to your wife. Ther uh, Teresa, Teresa, come on. Hey, are you ready to put on your wedding gown? No. Oh. Uh, I, I mean, I, I just have to redo my makeup, and I don't want to get anything on it, so. Okay, well, let me run to the restroom, and I'll be right back to help you. Oh, my big sister's wedding. Hey, Simone. Do you remember when we were younger and we used to play bride and groom in the backyard? Uh, yeah. You always made me be the groom. Well, maybe that explains it. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, if you believe the bridal magazines, this is supposed to be the happiest day in your life. I know. Then why do you look like you're about to cry? I'm not. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. Liar. I don't get it. No matter what he says or does, you still love Miguel. Kay. Kay, are you in here? Damn it, where is she? Here we go. Hey, I thought that was you. What's Please. going on? Have you seen Kay? Have you seen Kay? No, I haven't seen Kay, but I'm sure she's around here somewhere. She's about to walk down the aisle any she minute. Can't. I have to talk to her. I have to talk to her, Louise. Hey, calm down. Look, I know you still have feelings for Kay. The feelings? Look at me, Louise. You think these are just feelings? I love her, okay? I want to spend my life with her. Well, that's not going to happen, okay? She's made her choice. She's marrying Fox. Now, listen to me. You have to respect that. No, I don't, you Louise. Okay, I found something out, and I have to tell Kay the truth. What? What did you find out? Look, this ceremony's about to start, okay? Yeah. I have to find her. Miguel! Get... God only knows what's gotten into him. All right, listen, you still have that guard posted outside Fancy's door, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm gonna go walk the perimeter, make sure there's no intruders on site. Q, have you seen uh, Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald? I'm looking for him. That guy? Your yes. best man? Yes. That guy. Uh, Luis was just, just talking to him. He ran out to look for your bride. Which way did they go? You went that way. Why are you wearing a gun? I don't want you frightening my guest. Take it off. I take it off? Uh, no, Mr. Crane. I have my orders. You take your orders from me, Mr. Crane. But this is my wedding day. This is, this is a day of joy. Just give me the gun and I'll put it under lock. Say so. Shouldn't you be looking for party crashers or something? Yes, Mr. Crane. from running my way in, one way or another. Hey, you are. Right. Well, Julian, maybe instead of being such a caveman, you should be trying to knock some sense into your son. You're going to forget about Fox's medical condition. 
How can you condone this nasty little game? Condone what? Don't you think it doesn't break my heart to know that my son is so ill? Oh, stop it, Julian. You heard Fox. You know he's furious with me because I caught him in his lies. What lie? He's just upset that you broke your vow of doctor-patient confidentiality. I forgot. The Julian that I thought had learned the value of honor and honesty is dead and buried. Really, Eve, your tedious lectures are beginning to pall. Your son is going to start his marriage with a lie. What lie? And who doesn't? I don't think there's a couple in history who's lived up to their vows. He's going to use deceit to get Kay to marry him. You know that this cannot end well, Julian. Well, who am I to judge? Oh, you for that matter. Oh, Julian, I'm not trying to judge. Oh, God, I'm just trying to be honest. You and I are prime examples of what happens in a marriage when the partners are not honest with each other. But you and T.C. seem to be doing quite well at the moment. Yes. But not because of the lies, but because we're trying to be open and honest with each other and trying to salvage whatever is left of our relationship. I mean, it's not a marriage yet. I don't know what it is. But we're content. Well, obviously, my unwanted advice, Julian, is rubbing off on you because you and Ivy seemed very cozy the other night. I think I recognize the sheets you were wearing. We got drunk and tumbled into bed. It was a dreadful mistake on both of our parts. But why are we discussing my love life? You see, the only thing I can really think about at the moment is Fox. And I will not let you ruin this wedding by discussing his medical condition. He deserves a chance at happiness, so you just leave him alone. I should have realized that it was just pointless to argue with the crane. I trust that you are not going to keep me here by force. Grace, is that you? Yes, Sam. Have you spoken to Kay yet? No. Not yet, but, uh, but I will. Sam Bennett, it's Kay's wedding day. When she finds out that you've forgiven her and that you're going to walk her down the aisle, she will be over the moon. I, uh, I just wish you were here. I take it you didn't get on the flight. No, the airport's all backed up because of last night's weather, and now the fog's moving in. Say a prayer that we leave soon. That's not what you should be praying for. Is anyone there?
No, 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 Ethan, Lisa, stop. Lisa, I don't want to hear Lisa, another Lisa, word listen, 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 listen. You're taking a terrible chance getting involved with this guy. Excuse me, I have guests. Teresa, no, you're going to hear me out. Listen, Ethan, listen to me. It. J.T. Cornell was murdered. Murdered right before. He was going to give me information on Jared's background. What does that say to you, huh? That says to me that you need to leave Jared alone because you don't have proof to back up your accusation. Well, I'm going to have proof. I have a private investigator on it, Teresa, and I'll tell you what. I'm going to find out what J.T. had on Jared. Good, Ethan. I hope you do. And while you're at it, why don't you find out what J.T. had on your wife? Wow. Look at you. You really are a beautiful bride. Thanks. Okay. This is it. There is a priest out there and an altar and guests and flowers and they're all waiting to see a wedding. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to put the necklace that Fox had made for me. Um, I have to wear it today, so. Okay, let me help you. Okay. Whew. Snap that for me. Okay. Fancy actually designed it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yes, it is, but don't avoid the subject. If you love Miguel, this is your very last chance to call off this wedding. Is that what you want to do? No. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through with it. Fox needs me, and, uh, and he's a good person. And, and he loves me. And he's dying. And I have to be there for him. So you're marrying him because you're grateful to him? No. No, I, I love Fox. I just love him in a, in a different way. Than... And you love Miguel. Yeah. But Kay, I am so sorry that you still love Miguel. And you should be too. I know, I know. He's, he's a liar. He's a liar. He lied to me. And he loves charity. And the only reason he's telling me that he loves me is because he wants to be near Maria. So just forget Miguel. That's what I say. Yeah. I'm going to marry the man that's good to me, the man that truly loves me. There you go. Hey, uh, Simone, uh, mind if I have a word alone with my daughter? Sure. I'll give you guys some privacy. Well, come on, you two. It's a wedding. Say something. Thanks for coming, Dad. I, uh, know it probably wasn't easy for you. I know you're still really angry with me because of what I did to you and Mom. And, and I don't blame you because what I did was, uh, unforgivable, so. <clears throat> you're right. I am still angry with you, Kay. And uh, I, I <laughs> certainly don't understand why. But uh, I was talking with your mom earlier, and, uh, and I've, I've come to the realization that uh, this is your day. And you're my daughter. <laughs> and I love you so much and uh, I always have and I always will you'll never know how much Who wants to know? Simone, I have to talk to Kay. No, forget it. She doesn't want to see Simone, you. listen. I have to tell her something I found out. And once she hears it, she won't marry Fox, Keep okay? Keep it to yourself. Kay has heard enough bull from you. Simone, I have to see Kay. You know what? Come on. Come on. Simone, come I have on. to see Kay. Come on. I have to come what the on. What's wrong Let's with go. you, Simone? Come on. Come on. Where is Miguel? I'm going to take care of him right now. I know you're in there. I'm coming in. Now I'm hearing things. I've got to stop this.
this craziness and get some sleep. I shouldn't drink after taking that pill. I've got to sleep. I'm not driving. Oh, that's the worst thing. Again. I won't waste my time. Get out of here! Don't worry. I'm going. Can you remember something? You were a doctor. You have sworn never to betray the confidence of a patient if you tell anyone about Fox's medical condition. I won't say anything, Julian, because I don't think that it's my place. But I feel so sorry for Fox. It's like father, like son. It's just, it's a tragedy. Because if he's not honest with Kay before he marries her, then he will have to pay for his lies. Just like I have. by marrying a girl like Kay Bennett. I have missed you. I've missed you so much, my... my little spitfire. Thanks, Dad. I mean, can you forgive me? That's, like, the best wedding present. Look at you. My first daughter is going to get married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and I know it was a... It was a big deal for you to even show up, so... But... Since you're here, and... I don't know. Never mind, I'm not even gonna ask you. Hey. I want you to listen to me, okay? If you think someone else is gonna walk my little girl down the aisle, well, then you're crazier than what I think you are. <laughs> You know, we uh, have your mom to think because uh, she convinced me not to let the past come between us, especially today on your wedding day. I just want us to all be one big happy family again. Flights are all canceled because of the weather. There's no way I'm going to make it in time for Kay's wedding. Oh, Grace, I'm... I'm so sorry. Yeah, so am I. But, you know, who knows, you know, maybe if they let us on soon, I'll get there in time for the tail end of the reception. Have you seen Kay? You know, I'd like to wish her good luck on her big day. She's, uh... She's standing right in front of me, and you would not believe how beautiful she is. I'll let you talk to her. Mom? Hi, honey. Congratulations. I wish I were there. I know. I wish you were here, too. Thanks for talking to Dad. He's going to walk me down the aisle. Yeah, I know, sweetheart. I wish I could be there to see it. Well, you're you're still trying, right? I mean, that's all I could ask for. I can't wait to see you, Mom. Yeah. I can't wait to see all of you either. I just want to throw my arms around you all and give you a great big hug. I love you all so much. I'll be with you soon. What's wrong with you, huh? Why can't you just let me talk to Kay the way I asked? Haven't you caused enough trouble? Simone, Kay cannot marry Fox. 
Okay? She's making a huge mistake. And if you let me tell her what I found out, and if you care about her as much as you say you do, you will let me tell her everything I know. Oh, your mother should wash your mouth out with soap. I am sick and tired of your lies. I haven't lied to anyone, Simone. Why do you keep saying I have? I'm not about to get into this with you, okay? Just let Kay get married in peace. God, I cannot believe Fox was stupid enough to ask you to be his best man. And you really think that's going to happen? I am not going to let you get anywhere near Kate, even if I have to post a security guard right outside that library door. You got it? Damn it! How the hell do I get to Kay? Okay, maybe I can walk in from outside into that library. That's my best man. You son of a bitch, I know everything, and I'm going to... I don't think so. All right. You shoot me? Shoot me. Go ahead, Fox. Right here in your family's kitchen. Have fun explain that to the cops outside, okay? Those aren't cops outside, stupid. Those are security guards, and they work for me. I'll do whatever I have to do to protect my wife-to-be from her crazy, obsessed ex-stalker boyfriend. She won't be your wife-to-be once I tell her the truth about you, Fox. I wouldn't lie to the woman I love. I saw your medical files, Fox. You're fine. You're not sick. How'd you see my medical files? I broke into his office. I found your file. You're fine. You broke into my doctor's office and stole information? Maybe I'll call the cops right now. Have you arrested for... Breaking and entering, stealing personal data, put away for a long time, Miguel. Hey, this isn't a joke. Stand still. You won't shoot me. I will do whatever I have to do to protect my wife to be. It seems like you already have. Don't play with me, Fox. Does it look like I am playing with you, Miguel? So it is time to put you on ice, my friend, to the pantry. Go! Open it. Open it. Let me out of here. You know, Miguel, it's going to be a shame you're, you're going to miss the wedding. It's going to be beautiful. But you know, it's a good thing you're in the pantry. You won't starve. And you don't have anything you want. I don't want you thinking I'm a bad host. Fox, let me out of here. Stay away from me. Okay, we're done with each other. I don't want you coming around here anymore because this is my house. You don't mean that. No, I do mean it, Ethan. Wow. Did you see this? Our initials. I remember the day that I carved this. Do you remember? Of course, I remember we were engaged to be married. You swore that you would love me forever. But you didn't. You left me for Gwen, and then you took my daughter Teresa, from me. come on, please, don't... No, don't... you know what? No, no. For whatever reasons, Ethan, we could not make a go of it. Okay, so you're with Gwen. Let me be with Jared. What's this? 
Jared gave me a ring. He asked you to marry him, didn't he? Please tell me you did not accept his proposal. No, it's none of your business. Teresa, don't no, marry this guy. Ethan, wait, don't. Okay, we need to talk. from the hospital. I've been so jumpy. I, I can't sleep. I can't think. It's understandable. You're so thoughtful. Not really. Kind of stole them from the wedding party. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Um, Tell me. You're going to think I'm being silly, but earlier I heard a noise and I thought someone was in the closet. That's not silly at all. Looks like I'm uh, interrupting something. No, I'm, I'm dead. Teresa, here. don't go. Ter don't Ethan, marry this guy. Talk to your wife. Teresa, come back Ethan, here. Ethan, please. Honey, honey. Oh, hold on. Teresa! Ivy, we really don't have time for this. We'll be late for our son's wedding. There can't be a wedding. Fox will ruin his life if he marries Kay Bennett. Let me make this very clear to you. There will be a wedding. Fox loves the girl. He wants to spend his life with her. Oh, that's impossible. She's all wrong for him. She's spoiled and selfish. She's manipulative. She's malicious. Are we speaking of Kay Bennett or yourself? Don't be glib, Julian. Kay doesn't have what it takes to be a crane wife. She has to be stopped. Well, I'm confused. I, Kay is Sam Bennett's daughter, as I recall. He makes the, the sun rise and set for you. Why shouldn't the same thing apply to his daughter? She's Grace's daughter. Grace hates me. She has threatened to kill me, Julian. Oh, but why would that be? <laughs> Very funny, Julian, yes. Grace is going to use Kay to turn Fox against me. And you are not going to get out of this either, you know. Grace hates all the cranes. You're getting wound up over nothing. Fox loves you. God knows why, but he does. Grace can't change that. She's not even in harmony, for God's sake. She's coming back, Julian. Please, please, help me stop this wedding. No. That is something I will not do. Fox wants to marry Kay. I want to see at least one of my children happy. If you were a better mother, you'd feel the same way. Now, if you'll excuse me, we have guests to attend to. <gasps> Julian, Julian, you cannot allow this! Oh, uh, Ivy, uh, please, uh, don't get any ideas about driving your car through the living room windows. We just had them reglazed. Kate Bennett will never be my daughter-in-law. You won't believe how much Maria has grown. Yeah, I probably won't recognize her. Uh, no, no, I think you will. Because I think she looks a lot like you. You know, I can't wait to see you all. You know, Kay, um... I know, you know, I'm not thrilled that you're marrying into that family, but, uh... Give Fox a big hug for me. I will. Thanks, Mom. I'm sorry I won't make it to the ceremony. But don't give up hope, okay? I'm, uh, I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. Sorry, Grace. You 
know too much, and we can't allow you to live. Father, it's Fox. Listen, I'm ready to, to get this thing going. Ah, oh, yes, uh, I'm ready whenever you are. Great, Father. Um, could you tell Kay that we're ready to start? The groom can't see the bride before the ceremony. She's, she's in the library. Certainly, Fox. Uh, it would be a great pleasure. Okay, great. Thank you, Father. All right, let's get this show on the road. There's nothing Miguel can do now to stop me from marrying the woman in my dreams. Please, get me out of here. I have to stop Kate from making the biggest mistake of her life. Somebody!